getting very upset seeing the four-story buildings turn into one. And knowing that one of them was a school. So as we can see, we're at the Save the Children's yeah, Warehouse, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're using it as a training ground to be able to uh, teach people how to assemble the household units. Okay, these, these are the elevation shots that we've taken here. Five feet and eight inches. Eight inches. It's all good now, we got it all squared up. Now we're able to start the digging. Is this Pythagoras theorem? Three, four, five triangle. Personalities. <laughs> Coming down here, seeing the value of life and the way these people have to live, they don't have a choice. You know, we have it easy. It's a, it's a huge difference, and uh, yeah, I'm going back completely different. here is five years worth of research just about three quarters of a million dollars in R&D money and a real easy and quick shelter to go up and it lasts for as long as 10 years in weather like this I've learned so quick in just a little few days and I'm ready to show what I have learned and the guys that's working with me they are very comfortable with me they like me and they even ask me to try to get them to stay together and so we could build more homes like this for the children so they could go to school so where we are now is in the Petronville Club camp. This place originally was a golf course and a basically a, a high society area. It's been turned into a camp. Um, unfortunately, you can see that this, uh, this location here is really inappropriate for a camp. The nature of the household, as you can see behind me, there is a lot of plastic sheeting and, uh, and sort of temporary structures to turn around and uh, utilise. The household actually poses um, a, a good solution to this situation. Unfortunately, um, we don't have enough of them to turn around and offer to everybody, so we're going to use them for service facilities. These uh, units are going to be used by Save the Children as medical clinics. And the value of the house all for a medical clinic is it's very, very easy to disinfect and keep clean. Whereas the structure that was being used before is extremely difficult to uh, disinfect and keep clean. I think the whole reason why I came here was for them to do the work and for them to learn here so they don't uh, have to rely on us as much anymore. So, you know, I try to give pointers here and there for, for the most part. I want them to. Uh, you know, try to imagine the whole grand plan and 
put it together themselves. No, this way. It's gotta be gentle. No, I'm back. I didn't do nothing today because the IGN guys know how to do it themselves really well. So with minimal supervision, so I'm, I'm really proud of them. Really proud. Say <laughs> ball. The final touch is it. Now we can finally put the uh, put the period at the end of this little project. So it's awesome. I'm Dr. Franz Godio, working for Save the Children. Actually, I am coordinating this camp for, the, for Save the Children. It's safer for us to stay in there and less hot than the tent. And then um, we can leave our tables, our chairs, our equipment, except the medicine. We don't want to leave them in there. At least we see 300 persons because we are two doctors here. And then the line usually is so long, some of them have to go back home or back to their tent and come back tomorrow morning. Because their feeling is when they are here, sometimes they think we are not coming back. But save the children, we'll be here for a long time. Save the Children is doing something great for Haiti, um, for my people, I appreciate that. Um, you guys who've been helping Save the Children, please keep on doing that, because Save the Children is in need your help so that it can help Haitian people. I'm just really happy I came here and it completely changed my whole perspective on how the world works and how many, how other people are living. I just, you know, you watch it on TV and you see, you know, huts and stuff like that. But when you actually smell it, feel it, and talk to the people themselves, it's a whole different story. And it just makes me really realize how much we have at home. Like even I'm just a student, but the stuff that I have, that I don't really need. I don't know. I just changes things it just makes you really I, I feel like it gives you a, a grasp for um, like how much help is really needed I don't think we really ever get it I think we all think that okay the army's there and you know save the children's there and the people are there and the money's there and and then that's it you know someone's dealing with it and and when you get here and you see just how many people need work need food, need water that aren't being dealt with, it it blows your mind. And then I think that's just when it becomes really real because you see that there are still, you know, millions of people that aren't being helped. So I think that was uh, that was something I really came with. So. Let's go.